really come to see how big and enormous the, the, the competition is in Ghana. And I feel very privileged to be here today. Yeah, so uh, as you notice, a lot of people, I mean, people have said a lot of things here, and it's possible that, uh, I mean, some of the things that I'm going to say, I mean, somebody might have said it already. They're not at or remove. So, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, the General Secretary of the Cooperative Council, our uh, development partners, invited guests, the acting uh, registrar of cooperatives, staff of the Department of Cooperatives. It's a great opportunity to deliver this keynote address as we celebrate the centenary of the International Cooperative Day under the team Building a Better World through Cooperatives. Over the years, the cooperative movement has made tremendous contribution to the development of economies across the world, like uh, my friend uh, indicated about uh, the uh, Netherlands, yeah. including Ghana. And it is important for us to take this opportunity to showcase to showcase uh, the contribution and then uh, deliberate on how we can reposition the cooperative network for strategic national development in, the, in this modern uh, era as we celebrate the 100th International Cooperative Day. Mr. Chairman, uh, ladies and gentlemen, permit me to give a little uh, history on how it all started in Ghana. The cooperative uh, movement was introduced into the country by the then colonial uh, government and was concerned about the deteriorating quality of the country's uh, cocoa. So the government therefore decided to introduce a new technology to uh, cocoa farmers to enable them to improve the quality. However, they realized that it was very difficult to meet all the farmers on one-on-one -on -one basis. They uh, decided to uh, organize them into cooperatives. In order to regulate activities of uh, cooperatives, an office was established in April 1944 under the Cooperative Society's uh, Ordinance of 1937 to accelerate the promotion and development of cooperatives in the country. The mandate at the time was to accelerate the pace of uh, development of emerging cooperative movements. According to history, the cooperative societies were very successful and they marketed about 40% of the entire cocoa exports. In the, the cooperative office had metamorphosed into a fully uh, a, a full complement of staff operating under the uh, NLC decree of 1968, NLC D252. And the cooperative movement have spread into every sector of the economy. Now we have cooperative societies operating in the agricultural, industrial, financial, and services uh, sectors of the economy. Currently, there are over 12,000 registered cooperatives operating in all sectors of the economy. This has resulted in the creation of tens, tens of thousands of jobs for the labor force, thereby contributing tremendously to the uh, reduction of unemployment in the country. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, despite these past achievements, the cooperative system still holds enormous potential that we can harness for accelerated economic growth, job creation, and national development if we put in place the required measures. Today, Ghana continues to face unemployment uh, challenges that can be addressed through the cooperative system. According to the recent uh, population and housing census uh, report, unemployment, I mean youth unemployment has increased to 19.7%. And the former economy is not expanding enough to absorb the teeming youth looking for, for jobs. Meanwhile, I believe we all agree to the fact that enterprise development 
is the most sustainable strategy for economic expansion and job creation. For local resource mobilization, group based enterprise development, economic expansion, local economic development and job creation. Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, current accounts, uh, the current and emerging uh, issues. We need to do away with the welfare mindset or mentality that we sometimes have about activities or cooperatives and start looking at cooperatives, uh, cooperative societies as fully fledged business entities in their own rights. This requires the adoption of modern business principles in the management and operation of cooperative societies. In view of this, the Ministry, in collaboration with the Department of Cooperatives and key stakeholders, is advancing plans to adopt a new cooperative law. This new law is focused on streamlining the existing systems and strengthening structures that would unleash the potential of cooperative societies as private sector entities, whilst governments represented by the departments plays its regulatory role. Promote development of cooperative system of the cooperative representing you. So the various uh, partner governments to ensure that so. Joy, as we celebrate the 100th International Cooperative Day, it's a day to commemorate the cooperative achievements, its history, and its history. Cooperatives are recognized as a force for positive economic and social change and have provided significant value in both developed and emerging nations. Thus, the theme for this year cooperatives are building a better world. Which invited guests. Credit union movement in Africa began in Ghana over 67 years ago. And CUA, being the apex body, was 54 years in January. And our mission, and our mission is to promote and empower credit unions by offering high specialized financial and non-financial service to its members, to our members. By using savings as a tool for human development, credit unions believe that one cannot reduce poverty or, or create wealth without cultivating the savings habit. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Chairman, therefore the level of savings in one's life does not depend on the size of one's willing, does not depend on what, the size of one's income. Mr. Chairman, Savings is therefore defined as a desire and a willingness to set aside a part of one's income for one's future development. The size of the amount does not matter, as I indicated. What matters most is for one to believe that small drops of water makes a mighty ocean. Inculcating the savings habits in people, no matter how small the amount may be, is the answer to wealth creation. Mr. Chairman, Ladies and gentlemen, the credit union system has created opportunity for thousands of members to grow and build a better world. During the last six decades that credit unions have existed, the, the poor and the less fortunate in society have discovered their potential in the credit union system because they have realized that they could have a convenient place to save. Churches, small-scale entrepreneurs, artisans, salary earners, are embracing the credit union concept. Credit unions have put a permanent modern offices. This is a sign of growth and sustainability for the system. The image of credit unions keeps improving every day and members are prepared to give testimonies more than ever before over the years. Professionals are beginning to realize that credit unions are not meant for the poor, but for everybody. Of one another. The multiply effect of these developments with respect to indirect employment and government's effort to absorb excess liquidity through savings of living. Mr. Chairman, people worldwide choose credit unions and cooperative movement because credit unions are people first philosophy. We employ the people first philosophy that enables us to constantly improve the communities and lives of their members. For more than 150 years, credit unions worldwide have proudly collaborated to put people before profits. 
in order to provide access to affordable financial services for all members. Credit unions invest their earnings in helping members meet their financial goals, making dreams a reality. In addition to lower interest rates, better services, members, members experience the difference that comes through our democratic structure, service to members, and social goals that creates unity among these members. Is to save their money and secure affordable loans, and secure affordable loans. Members from all walks of life are able to realize that dreams, are able to realize their dreams and create new opportunities for themselves, including starting micro-businesses, building homes, and educating their children. Being exploited, as to celebrate 100 years of this existence as cooperatives, I am appealing to all, especially the service, industrial, agricultural, and other cooperatives here present to join the credit union in their area. Let us continue to cooperate among ourselves. That is, which is one of the fundamental principles of cooperatives, cooperation among cooperatives. As my chairman indicated, the cooperation with the credit union with the transport and others will help improve our lives better. I wish all of us a happy celebration and urge everyone here who is not a member of the Cooperative Credit Union and, not, and those who are uh, visitors, particularly the press, to be part of this Credit Union movement. Long live the Credit Union movement, long live Cooperatives, and long live our mother Ghana. God bless you. Yes, thank you.